So this is a uh, Lime Wobbler, uh, my one-dimensional dungeon crawler game. It's an experimental hardware game, and uh, this was the project that basically uh, drove me from a hobbyist to a full-time experimental hardware designer and installation artist. <laughs> we can do another take. Hey! <laughs> hey! I'm Robin Baumgarten and I make interactive installation art. And right now in this garage I'm building Quantum Jungle, uh, the newest version of it. And I'm going to show you now how it looks like at the moment. So it's all not assembled fully yet. I just received the parts yesterday. Um, so I just did the first initial test, but you can see already there is cool color working and um, yeah, I'm gonna walk you through the process and show you what it's all about. Basically, I'm just experimenting on stuff. So I, my background is video games and programming. So I used to do more interactive uh, video games and something in between video games and installation art. So games with physical components, with weird joysticks, with LED monitors, mm -hmm. something like this. Yeah. And um, now naturally I've kind of developed more into like the art science field where I'm kind of showing, in this case, quantum physics um, to the world. Um, but I'm also still active in, in games. So it's kind of in, somewhere in between. So it's experimental in the sense that I'm kind of experimenting myself with different modes of interaction and uh, visualization. Um, my uh, installations are always highly interactive. So like I want it to be very tactile, uh, very touch based and fun. My background is software, so programming only. So that one uh, is, that side is easy for me, but all the physical side is learning by doing. And I have no professional education in this but all the knowledge I have now is gathered through like maker spaces like here the motion lab but also before in London when I was there and um, the online of course there's a huge um, uh, base of knowledge for anything like this and I started very small with like tiny circuits and now it's like huge like uh, meters of size Quantum Jungle is a big wall installation so here you can see one tiny part of it, but this will be um, one sixtieth of the installation. So 60 of these panels will be all mounted in on like large wooden uh, frames, which I'm going to show you later. And they're all powered um, with uh, some Arduinos, which you can see here. So there's like a couple different um, boards in between because it's such a large installation. So it goes from, from these panels to these intermediary boards where the, um, the touch data is handled. And then with cables is connected to this very powerful Arduino that does all the image processing. And that then is connected to a computer where later on I will run the quantum simulation. And the quantum simulation is given to me by a research institute in Finland. So I collaborate with them. So I'm not a quantum physicist as well. Um, but I, my job is basically to make it pretty and fun and uh, still true to the science in this case. So, so these boards are, uh, there is basically nothing on them besides the LEDs. So I've got, uh, this is how I get it from the factory. So there's just the LEDs on here, but you can see these metal pads here. They're all in between each of these rings. And they then um, connect with these little connectors to these boards in between. There's like five of them here. That's how I get them. And on here, there are little um, touch chips. They're tiny, um, but what they do is they basically allow me yeah, these like tiny black uh, chips here um, and they are a touch sensor. So that each of them has 12 touch channels. So that's why there's 12 rings on this board. And what I do is I mount these metal springs on each of those pins. So, so this is now touch sensitive. So when I touch it here and I'm not sure if I can show you. Ah, oh, yeah. So each time I touch it, you see already here's like a little blue light turning up. So this is mostly for me to test if I'm actually doing it right, uh, but I am, so that's good. And then this signal is sent on to the computer eventually um, through these cables. But in the end, these springs are touch sensitive. So capacitive touch, that's a skin contact. So it wouldn't actually need to be springs. So it could just be buttons. But I really like the physical tactility of these springs because when there's like a thousand of these springs, you know, you kind of wobble over them. Right now there's only two, but um, it's, it's very kind of noisy and, and it feels cool to kind of uh, touch this board and feel the vibration. Um, 
And uh, that's why I use springs. And I, in fact, I use springs for most of my installations now because they're so wobbly, tactile, and physical, which is a very different from like VR, for example, or just touch screens where it's just, you barely touch anything. And I really like to emphasize the touch. So is that where the name <coughs> Robin Wobbles comes from? <laughs> <laughs> that's right, yes. Yeah. So that's my Instagram now and where I post all these uh, installations, exactly. Right, so this one is um, it's called a Teensy 4.1, which is basically um, one of the newest Arduinos. It runs at 700 megahertz, which is, for an Arduino, really fast. Um, and in here, um, it uh, receives all the picture data from the computer with Ethernet and sends it out to all these different boards. So there's going to be uh, nine boards of these connected to this um, Arduino, and each of those nine boards has four of those panels on them. So it's quite a lot of LEDs, um, but that's why I need this firepower uh, from, uh, from the Arduino, because it can still update it in several hundred frames per second, because I really want it to be fast and responsive and uh, yeah, better than you can get on a, on a computer, perhaps. Um, I mean, and now I make sure, I mean, I did all these mistakes before, right? So yeah. this is like not the first time I built this. This is like the, I think, uh, fifth or sixth iteration. And now I make sure I have a double or triple everything I need. So I am, have enough parts now here actually to make uh, two, two and a half of mm -hmm. these installations. Yeah. Um, in fact, that's what I'm gonna, probably going to do. So I make two and then have lots of spare parts because it's interactive. So it'll mm -hmm. break all the time probably yeah, kids will you know rampage on it and drunk yeah. people they go <laughs> <laughs> and so all the parts i should have enough and um most of them are locally ordered so i could get spares in a day um so here are all the circuit boards how they arrive um but there's basically 150 of these and then um, all the wooden parts which is basically the backing and the the structure of the installation I make here locally in the Motion Lab. So I'm going to use the CNC. In fact, I'm going to use it later today to make more of these parts, um, which are just basically the backing where the, uh, the springs are attached to. Yeah, so this is the circuit board layout, how I design it in the computer. I mean, this is now the finished uh, diagram, so it has two sides. Um, looks kind of complicated now, but during while you build it, it is not so difficult. And then there's also the software side to it, which is like um, which is like a big um, C sharp program, which uh, has like a little uh, visualization of what's happening um, on the hardware on the computer, and it also where the quantum physics are being calculated. And so there's like a little visualization of the entire installation here. The idea is that it shows, yeah, here, like, for example, this would be the quantum physics simulation where the quantum particle moves in a probabilistic cloud formation that will be explained later when the installation is done uh, to the audience, like that is like Schrodinger's cat a little bit, um, which most people know. Um, so you don't know exactly where the particle is until you observe it, which is like touching it and then it collapses and that's the software side of it yeah so yeah if an event or a festival wants to show my stuff they can just reach out to me um, I'm on many different platforms, for example, Instagram is robin.wobbles or my email address is robin.baumgarten at gmail.com. Maybe we need to put this in writing. Um, but uh, yeah, I have a, a few different works that I've built and that I'm showing. So I have uh, Line Wobbler, which is a simple minimalist one-dimensional dungeon crawler, then Quantum Jungle. I have a few copies now that will be available later in the year again. And the Wobble Sphere is still in an experimental phase, but perhaps uh, in the second half of the year, I'll have a cool uh, working uh, version of that.